it's the end of uh, week three of the pre-course at Makers Academy and um, the week's work has been based around completing chapters uh, 9 to 14 of uh, Chris Pine's Learn to Program book. For research this week I've mainly been using the rubydocs.org website. It's for every exercise we've been doing I tend to try and come up with a way that I want I'd think I'd solve the problem and then I go onto that website and look at the related pages to see if there are any methods I can use that will maybe do something that I want to do in one word or a couple of words. You know, Ruby's really clever. There's a lot of things on that you can do very quickly. I haven't found it so difficult to, to make the time available, uh, but we will see how, how I manage when, when the course becomes a lot more um, time consuming. It's definitely interesting to do it. You see different perspectives on the problems we've been set, different mindsets, different ways to approach things that is quite helpful because I might look at a problem and see one way of doing something um, but then someone else looks at the same problem and sees a totally different way to solve it. So I can definitely see it being helpful throughout the rest of the course and the rest of the process. For me, a certain kind of music helps um, keep my mind sharp and um, keeps me also in a good uh, in a good mood, which is very important for when um, there are exercises or tasks which get quite difficult. Um, you really need to be have a good mindset to keep uh, pushing through those those barriers.